In this video, we're going to talk about context. If you've been working yourself with large language models, you might know that the context you provide to your language model is really important because the more you give, the better the quality of the result. And the same goes for code, of course. So with Copilot, we have different options to provide context to our model. Let's switch to chat mode again, to ask mode. And here we see we can select context here, or we can use this one, the hash or the pound key. And here you can see these are the things we can add as context. Some might be a bit advanced, but we're going to use a file and we're going to use index.html from on the right side, you can see the folders from folder three. What kind of file is this? So as you can see, it added my context, my index.html. However, every file we have opened in here, like the, the one that's really active, will be in your context. Um, this is actually a setting that you can disable if you want, but it's quite handy, I guess. Um, so we can add a second file for context, names.json, for example. So are these the same people as in the index.html file? Oh, no. Here we have in our code um, some kind of people, Sarah Jones, etc., and there are different people in our names.json. So yeah, with providing some context, the index.html file can be read and the files can be read that you give in context and together it provides a solution to us. But we can go as far as we want with this kind of context. So we can add context like the entire code base. So here it will look inside everything it has already. And you can guess that this is powerful for software developers because it will give the entire code base as um, context. The more it knows about what you're trying to achieve with your question, um, the more you give it, the better the result. So um, I can do something like older 